late. Uh, number two, never have I been abroad. Number three, seldom did I visit my grandparents when I was a kid. Number four, not since COVID-19 started, have I given English lessons. Uh, number five, not until I got home did I realize my keys were missing. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. They're perfect. Thank yes. you. All right. Good job, man. Michelle? Okay. Number one, never have I faced a, a hurricane in the coast. Not only wasn't on time, but I didn't prepare my class. Story only, in this, <laughs> only in this way, my, and only in this way, those my sister pay attention on me. Okay. The, the second structure, only when I saw, when, only when I, when he saw me angry, did he help me. And two, <laughs> Mm, not since I left the country on November, have seen Arturo. Only after I have finished my homework can I go out. Right, very good. All, all of your sentences are grammatically correct. Um, but there's one. Don't, don't say attention on me. Okay, say attention to me. To me, okay. Yes, yes. And there's one sentence that you said about the month. I think it was a fourth sentence. Can you repeat the fourth sentence again? The first? The fourth. First. Mm, only when he saw me angry did he help me. Okay, that one's perfect. The third one? Is that you corrected? Pay attention on to me. me. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, well, maybe I heard wrong. Thank you, thank you. Everything's good, all right? And Trudy? Okay. I did three three of each. Okay. Really have Santiago seen him. Rarely has Santiago seen him. Little does Maritza care about it. Seldom did Rafael go there. Okay. Yes, the all other, of them are correct. Okay, thank you. The other, I did three too. Only later did she really think about the problem. None since Srini left college has she had such a wonderful time. Okay. Only by studying extremely hard could, could we learn English. Perfect, perfect. Okay. All of them are nice. Just one mistake in number one. Um, okay. You said Raphael have. Okay. No? Uh, Raphael have? No, seldom, 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 that's the correct uh, pronunciation, seldom, 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 S-E-L-D-O-M, seldom <laughs> did, seldom did Raphael go there, seldom did Raphael go there. Okay, 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 yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect. I, I, I guess my mind is playing tricks oh, the on first me. One, the first one I used had. Rarely has Santiago seen him. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Okay, I catch up. It, it rare, rarely has. Ha. Rarely has. Look, yes. you see, I got something in it to learn. The person singular. Yeah, I forgot. Oh. I, I'm sorry for the personal pronoun. <laughs> okay, rarely has Santiago seen him. Okay. Thank All right, you. very good, very good. 
Thank you. All right, ladies and Christian. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. How how is your day going so far? Normal. Yeah. Yep. It's boring. Hot and boring. Hot. Uh, it's hot in Vera. You're in Veracruz right now, right? Yep. Yeah, over here it's hot in Acapulco too. Hate it. W which state is hotter? Do you know Veracruz or Acapulco? I think Acapulco. It's hot over here right now. Suffering. Dehydrated. All right. Okay, okay. I'm glad you're alive, Michelle. Christian? Mm -hmm. How is your day going so far? Nice, nice, nice. It's nice. A normal day, like Michelle said, but it's nice for me. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty hot right here, too. But it's, it's hotter. Uh, Acapulco down here. Yeah, where are you? Where are you? Where do you live? In a town. It's called Atoyac. Atoyac. I live. I live in in El Picuí. Ato Atoyac it's, is like passing for you, kind of. Uh, yes, one hour from for you. Yeah, you in Veracruz, we have other Atoyac. Already? Yeah. Yep. And you, Trini, how's your day been? We since 5 a.m. of the morning. We, I try, I, you know what I'm doing? I try to connect with the, a little iPad. So you see me and imagine how I am. So I'm, I'm kind of anxious about it. I think I need a little bit more respect about it, basically. So I'm starting so early with um, my little family. I have my, have my husband and my two boys. I live in Rosarito. So I'm a half a block about on the beach. So it was kind of tense because my coworkers in the school, we have lots of many changes over there because we're working online, especially elementary school. And then, uh, you know, issues with the Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Uh, the weather is uh, it's cool. I'm wearing shorts, so it's not hot. <laughs> but the past week, it was so hot because we used to have a uh, Santana winds. So those Santana winds is came from Sonora. So it's there day and night, three days with high, um, um, how much high speed of, of wind. So it's kind yeah. of hot and dry. Okay. okay. Where, are you, where are you living right now? Rosarito. Rosarito. Yeah. Right next to the Pemex. It's a big state, big um, um, refinery. I don't know how it's in English. Uh, right yeah. there. Oh, yeah. oil yeah. refinery. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, you are from uh, from the south, huh? Veracruz. I hear you. I hear you. Where you from? So I didn't imagine. I've never been there. <laughs> oh yes. Well, yeah, I, I was actually born in um uh, in the north. I was born in Ciudad Juarez. But... Oh okay. I, I know. I know where Ciudad Juarez. I've been there. I don't like it. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what? This lady, lately years is very about Tijuana. I was born in Tijuana, so. Uh, it's, it's like, I think sooner or later it's going to be like the Ciudad Juarez because it's too crowned over there. I try to connect them, okay, with the other, with the iPad. Okay. Oh my God, you see the pan? Hey, we got pan in here. All right, let me see. I don't know how to do this. Mm -hmm. All right. Did I get it? I don't know. Yesterday, you know, we started it off with the inversions. Yes. Um, today we're going to finish the inversions and we're going to look at one little tricky. Modal verb. One little tricky modal verb. So it's only one. Can you see my can you see my screen? Yes. All right. All 
Goodbye. Yes. Hello, Trinidad. Inversions. Inversions. My family crazy. All right. So yesterday I gave you some adverbs in in, a, in yellow, and then I gave you some adverbs in red. Could you tell me the adverbs that you have in yellow, please? Hardly, mm. never, seldom, rarely. No, at worst. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hardly, never, mm -hmm. never, seldom, seldom, seldom. rarely. Only them. Only, no, only but. No sonner. Okay, said so hardly, never, seldom. What else? All, all, all of them, all the adverbs. Scarcely. Scarcely. You can, you can read your notes if you'd like. I got them in my cell. Wait a second. Rarely. Only then. Only them? No, I have more. No, man. Only them. You give us only then. Only later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm, not only, but no and sooner. Uh huh. Okay. No word. Nowhere. Mm -hmm. Little. Little. Only in this way. Only in this way. In no way. Okay. On no account. Okay. Hold on, somebody is trying to enter. And are you here now?
All right. Can you tell me the the adverbs in red? Not until. No since. Only after. Only when. Only by. That's all? Oh. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty bad with this machines. I'm sorry. So it didn't it didn't work with the iPad? Yeah, I don't know. I'll find out tomorrow. We have a expert in school. But now I have to study. <laughs> At least right. I try. Well. We have these these inversions and you know I kind of gave you the structure for these already yesterday. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the structure? Yes. Adverb mm -hmm. plus what? Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Plus subject plus verb. All right. Let's focus on the yellow ones right now. All right, I am going to write three sentences, like normal sentences, and I want you to change them using the inversions, okay? Okay. Okay. For the first one, I want you to use nowhere. For the second one, I want you to use in no way. And for the third one, I want you to use
on no account. All right, please invert these. You have three minutes. Well, Michelle, could you read yours, please? Okay, no word could, could I find her anywhere? Uh, in, in no way, would I go? And the last one, on no account, do I anything that you say? Okay. All right, all right. Some of them are wrong. Some of them are wrong. Mm -hmm, I think. Uh, Christian, what do you have, man? Okay. Uh, number one, no where could I find her? Number two, in no way would I go for cheating? Number three, on no account do I agree with anything you say. All right. Maybe. Trini, what do you have? <laughs> okay. Nowhere couldn't I find her anywhere. Number two. In no way could I never go parachutin. Ha, I like that word. And the third one, on um, no account agree you do anything to say. No account my... agree. Okay. On no account, On account agree. On yeah, account. You, you, you don't, you're not using the, the structure correctly. Yeah. Oh no, account. The auxiliary. The subject. Mm -hmm. All right. And Ari, what do you have? Uh, then first one, nowhere could I find her. The second one, in no way would I do parachuting. And number three, on no account, do not I. Do not I agree with anything you say. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Well, look, the answers mm -hmm. are this. Okay. The first one is nowhere could I find her. Two, in no way would I ever go parachuting. Number three, on no account do I agree with anything to say. Mm. Um, no, I can't. Do I So yes. Um these are the answers. Now, if you notice on number one, I don't repeat anywhere. Yes. I don't repeat anywhere because nowhere is the same as anywhere. Right? It's the same thing except that nowhere is the negative version and anywhere is the positive version, even though you use it for negative sentences. Okay? Uh and in no way, in no way would I ever go parachuting. Adverb, in a way, auxiliary, would, subject, I, and verb, ever go parachute. Oh, I have a mistake in the second one because I put could and should and instead would, ha, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, my friend. And the third one, 
on no account do I agree with anything you say. Okay. Ah, yeah. Reverse. Do I agree with anything you say? Okay. Reverse. Um, I think one of you said, on no account, do not I agree. Remember, on no account is already negative. So okay. don't make the auxiliary negative. Okay. Mm. Okay, no negative because it's already negative. Okay. Exactly. All right, now let's do some examples from the red one. One, I didn't believe he shaved his head until I saw him. I didn't believe he shaved his head until I saw him. I felt calm after we left the party. We could only eat. I feel calm after by going fishing. Calm after we left the party. Okay, in the first one, I want you to use not until. And the next one, I want you to use only after. And in the last one, I want you to use only by. And to give you a hint, to give you a little hint, I'm going to underline these words. Because remember, these words stay together. What you need to invert is the second part of the sentence. Okay? Show me what you got. You have... All right, there are your answers. Do you have doubts? <clears throat> yes, no, or no? Yes. Tell me, what are your doubts? I agree <laughs> in second and third, so that's mean that I'm growing in the first one. Okay, you're wrong in the first one? Yeah. Okay. This one is kind of tricky, you know? Um, because when, when do you make the inversion? Well, 
you make the inversion whenever this finishes. Whenever this finishes right here that I am putting in, when I, that I'm squaring it, after that you can do the inversion. And you know the inversion is auxiliary, subject, and um, verb. Okay, let me tell you something. When I start to do in the exercise, the first one, I'm try to be close to the structure, but then in second and third one, I decide to make sense because I don't understand the full sentence and I say, no, it's not probably. Where's the problem? When you said, okay, you need to put those words together, I may start to think about the, the meaning. So, I put it in, uh, like you, in the second and third one, but the first one was only, it was confused for me. It was confused for me. So basically in the first one, you tried to use the structure, but yeah. that one didn't work. And the other ones you didn't use the structure, but they were good. Uh-huh, exactly. Okay. All right, so maybe I don't worry about the structures then. I'm not worried here, I'm worried about the test. <laughs> I can fail again, my five times of copying that shit. Okay. Yes, yes, I don't want you to fail either. I had a question on the number two. It says, your, your first one example, I failed to come after we left the party. And, uh, and the response of the answer of the number two, I only after we left the party, did I fail? It changed the, the verb. First is in past and they are past simple and then the other one is in present. Um, actually, both of them are in the past. Okay, because I feel. I feel. Yeah, see, I felt felt is in the past, uh -huh. and and left is in the past, uh -huh. and over there, left is in the past, and did I feel? Did makes it negative. Like in a question. Well, uh, did did makes it past like in questions. It, it changed. It could be changed. It's possible that. What do you mean? Did I felt? Yeah, because. In the in the question in the, the first uh, in the exercise when you uh, write in the when you type in the first time it verb is in past, but when you give it the answer it's on um, present. It confused me. Wait, wait, wait. In, in which one? Okay. Where you were the, the squares, you see the squares in that one? In the first way you have. Ah. When you give it number the one? And the number two. When you give it the activity the first time, and number two, it says, I failed come after we left the party, right? I failed. When you write it down, when you type in over there, it says in the number two, yeah. You twist it or and this is failed. So it's made me confused. It's, uh, yeah, it's, th that's what I, that's what I want you to see. Uh -huh. Did I feel calm? Yes, feel is, is not present. It's in the base form because I am using the auxiliary did. Okay. And did is, did is the past. So the, the tense doesn't change. Okay. Yes, you have to modify the verbs, but the tense stays the same. Past, past, there, past, past, and then the inversion. Yeah, but yeah. The, the thing is that you need to pull out the, the auxiliary verb, right? And mm -hmm. what is auxiliary for the verbs in the past? Did. did. Uh -huh. Yeah, and whenever, and whenever you use did, in the, mm -hmm. like to make a question, yeah. you don't say, did I felt? Or did you felt? That wouldn't be correct. You say, did you feel? You feel. And, yeah. and, and yeah, that's why it might appear like it's in the present, but because no. of did, it's in the past. Yeah, I see. It, it, it functions like an auxiliary. It, it, uh, it helps the, the verb to convert. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. No problem, no problem. The, You're going to do your head. Yeah, Does your head hurt? 
You're going to suffer with me. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I, I love that you have doubts. Yeah. Everybody, don't worry. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, you, usually the, uh -huh. the teachers' courses, they have more doubts and questions, and they have more frustrations than the beginner students of English. Really? It's very funny. Yeah. Let me it's tell you good. that for my whole work, I'm trying to find examples and exercise for doing this invention. So it's okay for everybody to have those as well. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. how do you feel with this? Is your head hurting? Feel me. Me. Feel me. <laughs> Ari, what's up? Yes, uh, uh, I had everything correct. Ari, star for Ari. Thanks. <laughs> no problem, Ari. Well, look, this this is not the end of inversions. <laughs> Do you remember that um, last week? And yesterday we practiced the the conditionals. Yes. Well, did you know that you can mix conditionals and inversions in the same sentence? No. I <laughs> imagine. <laughs> and that's what we're about to see. Oh my goodness. A mixture of mixed conditionals and inversions in the same sentence. Oh my God. Bring me a vital pill, series. <laughs> what? I told my kid, bring me my my uh, my my vital pill. Uh -huh. Yesterday I was and the other day with a big headache. Because I didn't sleep well this week. It's so hard to work. Yes. Okay, let me pull out my notes. I think this is the thing that you had a doubt about yesterday um, about conditionals with should. So, yes, we're about to see this. Hello, hello, Norma. Hi, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Are you the Norma from Acapulco? From Saturday, yes. Oh, what's up, Norma? <laughs> welcome to the class. Right now, we're uh, we're doing a difficult um, piece of grammar. So please collect <clears throat> your brain pieces, put them together. And let's continue. <laughs> well, <Okay>. look. <laughs> what is the title? Inversion using conditional sentence? Yeah, in inversions with, with conditionals. Good. Yes. Here we go, here we go.
Okay. If I had seen you yesterday, I would have given you some masks to protect yourself. All right. Now, here is the inverted version. So what do you notice about these? What do you notice about the difference? The, the second one, the one that has I, is inverted. Mm. The first part of the sentence is inverted. Okay, and the second part is not, right? Yes. What else do you notice? So you, you invert you invert uh, the if clause. Yes, yes. You eliminate the if. Okay, very good. So let's write these things down. I'm going. I'm going to write them down with you. A. The second clause. stays the same, okay? B, eliminate Eliminate if, all right. And flip the auxiliary with the subject. Very easy three steps okay so like like you guys said this stays the same um we eliminate if and then we change if with had No matter what, it's the the verb, the tense verb, right? If it's past, present, no matter what, right? Actually, this only works with three things. Okay. Um, I have them right here. It works with had, so that's the third conditional. It works with were, second conditional, and it works with should. I don't know what conditional should is, but Conditionals with should. Hat is third. Hat is what? Hat is third conditional. Hat? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, hypothetical okay. situations about the past. And where is second one? Second conditional? Yeah, where is second conditional? Look, I'll find out. <laughs> yes. And should is like. A model, no? I, I guess it could be zero conditional. Zero? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know because I look in mm -hmm. in real life you never use you never use should in regular conditionals. Like I told Christian yesterday, you can't do that. That would never be correct. Okay. But with inversions, you can. So, um, let me show you. 
Okay. Give me the name of a beautiful man. The name of a beautiful what? A beautiful man. A uh, beautiful man? Black Efron. Okay. <laughs> if you... <laughs> if you see Zac Efron... Did I spell his name correctly? Yeah. If you see Zac Efron... Kiss him. All right. You ran far away from me. So check this out. <clears throat> the inversion for this would be should you see Zach Efron? Kiss him. So again, the, the second part stays the same. Mm -hmm. We eliminate if, but this time we don't flip. We don't flip the auxiliary because there is no auxiliary. So you just add should. Mm -hmm. Let me write that down for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, against the second clause stays the same. In this case, right, teacher? Can you repeat that? In this case, in this yeah. type of mm -hmm. Again, eliminate if. And the last thing. Actually, easier, easier, easier. Replace if with should. If with should. Now tell me. Instead of should, instead of should. What conditional is this? If you see Zac Efron kiss him, is that zero or first? I think it's zero conditional. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's zero conditional. Sorry about that. Um, what they're doing. Okay. Okay. And. Um, Okay. Should I write everything again? No. Or just, just the third thing? Just the third one. The third one. Okay. And it was. If you want, Delory, comma, you could take me to Greeks. We, we should go over there. Okay. And then. Well, you can take me to Greeks. Yeah, okay. Were you, were you to win the lottery? How do you miss that one? Were you to win the lottery? The lottery? Come on. For you to win the lottery, you could take me. You could, you could take me to Greece. Take me to Greece. Yeah, right, right. there. Right. Okay. So the instructions. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second clause stays the same. Okay. Okay. Next. Replace if. With were and then add two before the verb. Add right. two. That's for the mechanical people that need to see the instructions and stuff like that. Okay. Two. Or the verb. 
Continue. I send a picture with the information. Okay, okay. Look, Norma, to save the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Norma. You're welcome. Yes, yeah, so if you need it, you can download it from the chat. Okay. So Right, it's good? Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Time is... Yep. Oh, my God. Well, I guess I have to explain what you have to do for homework. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. Well, for homework, mm -hmm. I want you to write... I just was waiting that magic word. <laughs> the magic moment. <laughs> Six. Okay. Conditional clauses. Six inverted. My goodness. Conditional clauses. Two with had. Two with were. And to with should. Okay. Don't send or don't use mixed conditions. Don't use mixed conditions. Give me the third, give me the second, and give me the zero conditional. Like uh, we did before, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, after that, send me an audio reading the six conditions. On WhatsApp? On WhatsApp. My number, for those of you who don't have it, is 744-354. Three nine zero nine. Yeah, I'm in, in the group already. Maria, she uh, catch me at the group. Uh, you keep you keep the same number, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Right. What for is the, the the number you gave us on WhatsApp? The with the four five. That's, no, the Mr. Five, that's four. Ari's number. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Ari number. Okay. Make the sentence and review the sentence, right? Yes. In the middle of the night. Well, yeah, in the middle of the night, because tomorrow, I my first class starts at one. Oh my goodness! Okay. My first class starts at one, and then I work from one to nine, without stopping. Okay. okay. Yes, so if you, send, if you send it to me after one, I don't see it. Okay. okay. So it's if, correct. You, if, it's, if it's possible, send it before then, one. If not, then I will check it later after one, the class. Tomorrow okay. before 1 p.m.? Yeah, yes. or tonight. Or oh, tonight, because tomorrow I'm working, so like a play over there. Yes, yes, whenever, <laughs> whenever you can. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yep. So yes, uh, this is all of the inversions. Inversions, right? the, the topic, right? Yeah, the topic. And um, well, tomorrow we're going to have a little review of inversions. And then we're going to continue to the next topic. The next topic is, let me check. Inversion with conditionals, right? Yeah. Tomorrow, the, the next topic is um, 
verb complements had better, prefer, would prefer, and would rather. And if we have time, we're going to go into the passive voice. My, God. my goodness, my brain is getting shrink, not plasticity. All right, so yes, uh, literally all of these topics are the ones that are the most common on the exam and the most difficult. Passive voice. I don't have time for this. Passive voice and what else? Prefer would would prefer would rather. Prefer would rather. Okay. okay. We got appointment tomorrow, okay? All right. Thank you for well, your meeting. I will, I will see you tomorrow at six, guys. Right? Okay. You too. Classmate, right. thank you. Thank you so right. much. Okay. Have a good night. Time. Take care. You too. Bye bye. Yeah, I will, I will. Same to you. Tomorrow. Uh, I used to say sayonara to my students. I will say sayonara. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.